people flying, it seems. A lot of air travelers are trying a different approach in the way they fly. According to the FAA, the number of passengers flying out of the Waterloo Regional Airport has steadily gone down since 2000, when more than 54,000 flew wow. from there. Well, this past year, less than 29,000 flew from there, a drop of almost half in just eight years. With your top story tonight, News Channel 7's Bob Waters joins us live from the Waterloo Regional Airport. Bob, tell us about a different kind of air service hoping to land some more traffic at the airport. Well, Terry, it's not commercial air service, but it's not exactly a charter service either. It's called an air taxi. It's a new on-demand point-to-point service being offered not just in Waterloo, but at just about every airport in eastern Iowa. This is one of two planes flying from Waterloo as Midwest Air Taxi. The Cirrus SR-22 seats four people and can fly anywhere in about an 800-mile radius. The thinking is commercial air service and driving are too expensive and time-consuming for many Eastern Iowa business travelers. A lot of the trips that we've been in discussions with different businesses um, about are day trips where people need to travel for a meeting or maybe a convention or a show, um, go out in the morning and come back in the evening. And typically they are either driving these trips right now and because of the time commitment, have to spend the night or it becomes a really long day. Company leaders say flyers can split the cost of their flight, making it much cheaper than charters or Northwest. The demand, I think, will grow over time. I, I think Cedar Valley business leaders say it'll be a welcome addition. In terms of the business traveler, uh, it's going to be a, a real benefit for the Cedar Valley to, to be an innovator in this kind of air service. However, some companies won't let their employees fly in a single engine plane. Midwest Air Taxi says its planes are flown by more experienced pilots and have a unique feature. It actually has a, uh, a parachute that is designed for the whole aircraft. So if there's ever an emergency situation where the pilot couldn't safely land, they can pull the chute and the pilot and all of its occupants um, will gently land on the ground. It's a proven concept and actually it's saved numerous lives with this piece of equipment. While LeCompte and others hope that parachute never has to be used, their confident air taxi service will catch on. You literally walk in, get a brief uh, safety briefing from the pilot, and you can literally be on the plane and up in the air within five or ten minutes. Now, as for the prices, you may have to trade cost for time. A flight from Waterloo to Chicago is about $1,270. However, if you or the air taxi company finds two other passengers you can willing, that are willing to split the cost, it's about $423 per person, a little more uh, able to be done. And there's no security check, no long waits. And you can have your laptop with you, and you can be working on it the whole time. Bob Waters, Iowa's News Channel 7, live in Waterloo. Interesting stuff. Okay, thanks, Bob. You know, higher airfares are just one of many things stretching your money these days. Oh, more details about this. Doing an online comparison, we're finding that flying an air taxi can actually save you some money. If you have three people, as Bob was talking about, and you're making a day trip at the last minute, flying from Waterloo to Kansas City, as you can see, you'd save about $200 a person over Northwest Airlines, and you'd save $623 per person flying to St. Louis. You'd save $1,090 flying to Chicago. However, if less than three people fly or you book earlier, it still would be cheaper to fly commercial with Northwest, the only airline flying out of the regional Waterloo Regional Airport. As I was mentioning, these higher airfares are one of many things these days stretching our money. That's for sure, Tara. First, we had the tornado, which went through Parkersburg back.